Kyler Hood. This is from Simon Hobson. For most people, six degrees of separation connect everyone in the world. But for Kyler Hood, the eldest of four brothers and 11 sisters, it's closer to two degrees. When critiquing colleagues in playwriting workshop, his approach is thoughtful and fraternal, not surprising for someone who spent 23 years wondering who his next brother-in-law will be. The young man from Spokane is well on his way to his own six degrees. At Gonzaga, he began as a biology undergrad before gravitating to philosophy and international studies. He minored in English and psychology, studied in Florence, and logged research time at a Zambian chimpanzee sanctuary. CCA may have been designed for Kyler. In two years, this unassuming playwright has become an academic coach, a resident advisor, a teacher's assistant, supplementing writing with classes in photography, furniture design, and filmmaking. Although he's recently mentioned law school, Kyler will succeed in whatever career he chooses from his alphabetical resume, from academics to chimpanzees. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the self-directed, well-connected, and unexpected Kyler Hood. Thank you. In a moment, you will see the last scene of my play, Dance Lessons. You need to know that Allie and Colton are married, but Allie has driven clear across town to get Colton to sign the divorce papers so she can go to dance lessons for her wedding with her new husband. Enjoy. <laughs> any more clear. You have time. Relax. Relax. You don't have the slightest concept of time. Not a clue. You have time? You've got to be kidding. You have no idea how it is to manage a wedding. All the careful planning and nosy relatives to navigate. Says someone who didn't think to call ahead during a snowstorm. Says the man who'd forget breakfast if he didn't write it down. Where's my keys? Oh, we need to go back. Oh, wait, I left my keys in the car, and it's locked. Who, who, who? Now there's a big girl. A big girl? If you're honest, which you're not, I suppose it all comes down to time. Real men make time. I've dated married men who have all the time in the world to work out in the gym or get ahead on the job. I fell for it, fell for it hard. All dewy-eyed and stupid, but then I listened to a conversation with those men. And it came right down to the story of my day. They didn't give a damn. It's boring. That's why I'm so glad I started dancing a couple years ago. Men on the dance floor in time. But it's not just about rhythm. Oh, no, they let loose. Not, oh, what did you do today? Guess how much I brought in today? A bunch of pragmatic posturing. And then it's all cocktails. And, oh, how much did you make? Huh? Huh? It's obnoxious. Dancers just go out there and shake it. No hair splitting and no bullshit. That's what I say. The men complicate to do what they want. It's writing on the wall. But I'm not reading it. It's simple. I'm through. And then I come here seven days before my big day. Seven. The snow's coming down like you've never seen. It's got to be a record. But I pay no mind. Mine says sign the papers. Sure it has. I send them how many? Three times. Surely he's wrong. Surely this is just water on the bridge, and we can both move on and be like adults. Surely he'll respect the necessity of a perfect wedding without interruptions. No, I haven't learned anything. I guess it's my fault. He's sipping gin just like I remember, me ready to turn in after ten hours on my feet trying to sell perfume that no one's buying, and him going about his day oblivious. I get nothing. Not a zippo. Zilch. Don't change. Fine. But get out of my way so I can, men. I thought dancers were actual men, but ha, I don't think real men exist. We're all just girls, big girls. Some are just dicks. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, Mrs. Holier Than Thou. You're saying women, not the assholes with the stick between their legs, but the usual types. You're saying that women can hold down a relationship? Well, yes. Maybe I should have connected the dots. <laughs> <laughs> That's just too funny, considering that my first girlfriend was a drug addict. That was your choice. Shut up! You rode your high horse. My turn. 
My druggy girlfriend taught me to hide everything and change the locks. The liar. But fine, I have plenty of tame examples. It's always the same. Oh, Colton, I really admire your work ethic and discipline. And then in the next sentence, why can't you spend more time with me? I changed my schedule. And then they always ask something like, do I look chubby in this Kenyan? No, you look chubby ever since you went on that celebrity diet. <laughs> Sneaking Frosted Flakes, that makes a big girl. Oh my god, oh my god, I can't believe you just said that. Fine, just fine. Hail almighty woman. Just start smoking crack too so we'll know what to expect. And then you bring up dancers. Dancers are highly evolved women. Why would I want that? You complain. You mention my drinking, even though the bad stretch is long gone. You peck away over and over, such a little vulture. You get no buzz with my spreadsheets. And I don't get a hard on over a bunch of femme fatales throwing down money like it's low fat yogurt so they can be the next hot thing on So You Think You Can Dance. <laughs> no, thank you. Get out of here. I won't. You want it to be a pain in the ass? I'll be a pain in yours. Here. Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Then get out of here! Now! Look at you, cheap bastard. Won't even get a haircut till the end of the month. Oh, and you, so <laughs> precious. Spent your whole paycheck on that get up. Stop yelling! You wanna yell? Yeah, selfish prick. Controlling bitch! Stop pushing me! Dad. Someone turned off my music. It was him. <sighs> Sorry, Dad. I know it's important, but we... We have to talk. Talking, yes, that's good. Keep it to talking. Oh, wow. I should have expected this. You're a charity thief when you were five. What are you doing? I'm turning it off. No, you're not. He just told you. Or weren't you listening? No surprise. But for once, you listen to what someone asks of you. He does have a real good reason. But we have a better one. You're chafing my balls and I want to finish this. Finish this? <laughs> finish this? You know what? We will. You're going to dance. Good one. I'm serious. I was supposed to be at lessons with Neil right now. I drove two hours with zero visibility. I've been told for weeks what's best for my wedding and I'm exhausted sick. Bravo. You complained about women. You belittled me. I stood for ten hours for less. I knew you're a martyr. I know. Oh, you aren't giving a fair shake. But goddamn it, if today, when there's salsa music playing, it's no folly, and there's nowhere to go and no good reason to, goddamn it, we don't dance. You get all your partners this way. Simple. God can damn about someone's feelings. It must be important. What's it about? Typical placing blame and starting a fight you don't know anything about. Well? Don't act like you care. You got seven days. Seven! Fine. Just fine. Be honest. That's what you want. You're full of shit. I try to talk to you. We won't. I try to do something. Something that I need to do. Something simple. A dance. Something not tied up in... Whatever. But... No. You're an asshole. I can't win. Don't put this on me. We had three years. What a stretch. And now you want to be civil? Go plan your dream wedding and don't take anything from ours that meant nothing. We eloped after two and a half years in the Peace Corps. But never mind. We have a beautiful time in our lives. Sometimes my mouth still waters for fresh papaya. I don't forget that, but you were just screaming in front of your father and you won't let me know what's going on. Now you're interested? We hardly talked about your father. Whose fault is that? I was too busy defending my mom from your jokes. It's not fair. Fair? What? Because she'll forget? She has Alzheimer's, Colton. Jesus. But, but okay. Water in the bridge? You mentioned a stretch. Our stretch. So I just wanted to remember it. By forgetting. Yes, I said it. Now. Got to be kidding. Why not? 
Got something better to do? I can't dance, you know that. That's the point. It's simple. Like this. I'm out of practice. How's it look? Good. <laughs> you like salsa? Oh, love it. Come on. That's all right. Let's go. No, <laughs> I don't think so. So you think you can dance, we'll have to wait. Haven't done it? Still, think of it as a chart. This is the grid, but we've got to keep it small. You won't be that bad, I swear. I went once, okay? I don't know. Let's go. Come on. Okay. <laughs> no. No. Okay, put your arms here. Oh god, you don't know a thing. I like it. I like watching it. I'll just watch. No, it'll be a big crowd. I need a dummy. That's where I am? I don't know what I mean. Okay, so here we go. No. No. You can't just move your feet. That's not gonna work. I'm sorry, I told you. Wow. <laughs> you sorry. It's okay, you'll get it. Watch me for a second. I think that's your step. Something like this. Over and over. Got it? Uh, okay, here we go. Okay. Kind of. Look up. Look <laughs> My foot. I, sorry. Are you okay? Twice in one day. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, yeah, no, it's fine. Let's go, okay? Remember, take smaller steps. Small steps, okay? Look up. Look up. Wait. Maybe this will help. Okay, put that under my shoulder. Okay, yeah. Now. Grab my other hand. It's good. Touch me. Closer. A little closer. Great. Here we go. Feel it in your hands. Feel it. Feel it. It's not hard. Yeah. Yeah. If you want, you can try a spin with one arm. Okay. Great. You're doing it. Try it. I'm sorry. Colton! I, I should go. Uh, Allie, wait. I'm sorry, Colton. I really messed up. I... Oh, can I interrupt you something? No! <laughs> Allie just had a misstep. I should be going. No! Stay! Allie always wants an audience. Okay? Colton, I really can't. Come on, can't be that bad. Yeah, come on. <laughs> you can dance. Yeah, so can you. You're very good. Great. Liar. Isn't it annoying when someone hides something? Tommy, is that what I am? Ugh. I no. <laughs> I want you to watch someone that really knows how to lead. And here's an actor for you. Shut up. I'm not the one playing footsie at a sales lunch. I didn't know such thing. Oh, and what about lunch? That was different. How? That was lunch with my mom. I couldn't make it. You mean you forgot and lied about it. Liar. Liar. Liar! And all the flirting? We were married. We are married. Listen, I gotta... Sit down, and you're a drunk! I... I've had enough of your jokes. Now just... That's all you do? Listen. And excuse me? Shut the fuck up! Oh, Listen. and now you're swearing at me. I mean... Oh, so there he goes! Just like you! What, is that what you want? You want me to go away, sign your stupid papers? Yes! No! No, all right? I'm sick of your bullshit! You know what? I'll just... No, you won't. No more bitching about my clothes, no more of your goddamn... Let me go! You know what? Fine. You're full of shit, you know that? Fucking Shan! Go back and tell that to what's-his-name. Remind your mom for me. My mom, you piece of shit! You lying piece of shit! Shut up! It's over! Fuck you!
Thank you.